Death, taxes, and money printing. These are the only truths in life. The people around our country are destroying it, and they're doing it on purpose. We all know the media has been corrupted by the left. With millions and millions of illegal immigrants crossing into the country, there is no mention of this in the media. Because this story is so unbelievable, I wanted to see if it was reported elsewhere. You know, it couldn't find it on MSNBC, CNN, Drudge. You have the release of hundreds of thousands of, uh, of foreign criminals, like they emptied the jails, raped thousands of rapists, thousands of murderers. And on the pages of all of these networks, the death of Maggie Smith, which is sad, great actress, Lana Del Rey's marriage, uh, P. Diddy rumors, but nothing about what is easily one of the most big, probably the biggest crime story I've, I've ever seen. It's very clear. The government is your enemy. And the only way you can hedge against the government is crypto, Bitcoin. Do it. There's no doubt about that in my mind. And I've withheld judgment for a number of years now. But with yeah. what they've done at the border, completely changing the population of the country, letting in millions and millions of people who have no connection to the United States, can't possibly help our economy, can't possibly unify our very fractured civic culture, um, and whose loyalty to a knowledge of the United States is completely in question. In fact, their identities are in question. We don't know who they are. And they're coming through a country in the middle of a drug war. The whole thing is not, by the way, bad management. Or they're not doing their job. No. no, they're destroying the United States on purpose. And so I begin with that. So the idea that those same people are going to somehow affect positive change in Eastern Europe, a region they know nothing about, and it's demonstrable, they don't know anything at all, um, is like insane to me. And the fact that Republican leaders who really are either, yeah. in many cases, just dumb, they just don't know, or they're controlled, that is true, um, are on board with this is just infuriating. So we know that Democrats watch this show. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them hate watching. But if you're watching this, the media doesn't want you to know this information. They don't want it to reach you. They would rather you die or be raped than Trump be right or find out the truth. So you can hate Fox all you want. You can hate Trump all you want. You can hate me. But you, you, you can't hate yourself and your family so much that you're going to ignore a story that puts them in danger. Now, even if these numbers are off by 50 percent, please I think that the fact checkers should fact check it. You know, tell tell us, no, it's not 16,000 rapists. It's only 8,000. It's only 7,000 murders. Cool. I'm glad you're okay with that. I'm glad I'll take your fact check. But anybody who defends this or or says it's not that big a deal is complicit uh, and they should be held accountable. Every victim of every crime by the people that are in here. Uh, that we have uh, that we haven't vilified who are actual villains. You need to file a class action suit against uh, against this government. You know these bastards were more offended by stories of cats being eaten than real stories. Real stories reported here of actual rape and murder. And if you ask why those other stories existed, it was the only way to get these a holes in the media to even look at this story. They can only see immigration as a gotcha moment for political gain. They're actual people that are dying. This is a huge story. Where is it? The dubious distinction, 100 murders in 466 days in office. Never before on both sides, Republican, Democrat, have you ever had 100 murders in Manhattan in 466 days? On day one, Alvin Brown says, he was not going to prosecute felonies. They give you all their fake, their fake statistics. Well, if you don't arrest nobody, you don't have no statistics. 